Hi there, and thanks for joining me today for this Creating Keepsakes video tutorial on how to create a Holga effect using Photoshop Elements. Today we'll be using Photoshop Elements version 8, however you can follow these instructions using older versions of Photoshop Elements and create the same effect. The original Holga effect came from taking photos with the Holga camera. Today, however, you don't have to own fancy equipment to get this look. Instead, we're going to use Photoshop Elements to create this fun effect. Open a photo that you want to use and create a new version of this photo by saving it as a new name so you're not overwriting your photo. Once you do that, we're simply going to go to the Layers palette and create a duplicate layer of the photo. Click on your background layer and drag it up to the new icon, let go, and you'll notice it created a copy of your background layer. I now have two layers of the same exact photo. Once you've got the top layer selected, which is your copy, go to the Layer Effects drop-down box and we're going to choose Multiply. What Multiply does is it actually darkens the photo. It darkens the effect. So you'll see how everything in my photo became dark. If I click on the eyeball icon, there's my original photo. If I click on the eyeball icon again, there's the multiply effect. Now for this Holga effect, I want to erase some of the darkened areas and highlight the subject of my photo. So I'm going to go to my toolbox and I'm going to select my eraser tool. And make sure you're choosing a large soft edge round brush. In this case, I'm going to choose 500. Make sure you're on your multiply layer, which is the top layer in your layers palette, which I am. And simply click and hold and we're erasing the multiply effect so that we can highlight the subject of our photo. Once you've got that done to the effect where you like it, which I like what I have here so far, you can either save this file and print it to use on your scrapbook pages, or if you find that the darkening isn't as dark as you would like, go over to your layers palette, click on the multiply layer and drag it up to a new layer and you'll see how it gives you a darker version. You can continue to do this and keep going darker and darker until you get the effect that you'd like. I think this is probably a good effect for the use that I'm going to be using it for. So now I will simply save this version and go ahead and print it and use it on my scrapbook pages. Thanks for joining me for this Creating Keepsakes video tutorial on how to create a Holga effect using Photoshop Elements. For more scrapbooking tips and tricks, be sure to join us online at creatingkeepsakes.com.